A lot of you may know Finnan from the Last Kingdom. Here, he is presented to us as an Irish warrior, who fought alongside Uhtred of Bebenberg during the 9th and 10th centuries AD. Much like the real Uhtred, who was born over a century after the events of the show, the real Finnan was born over 200 years before the events of the Last Kingdom, and was known as Finnan of Lindisfarne. Finnan would live during the 7th century, and during this early period of Anglo-Saxon history, there was a long period with no written sources, apart from a few writers, such as Bede the Venerable and Gildas, who wrote The Ruin of Britain. The era after the end of Roman rule in England is difficult to make out. According to the ecclesiastical history of the English people, the first Saxons to arrive in Britain were Hengist and Horsa, two Germanic brothers said to have led the Angles, Saxons and Jutes in their invasion of Britain in the 5th century. According to the sources, the brothers were the descendants of Woden, the revered god in Germanic paganism. Many kings in these times would claim divine descent in order to give their kingship legitimacy. England was built by bands of adventurers, many who were led by Hengist and Horsa. The native Britons had converted to Christianity under Roman rule, but after the Anglo-Saxon invasion, the British church fell into obscurity in England, with Rome knowing nothing about it. By the 7th century, powerful kingdoms had begun to emerge, until there were seven, which ruled over Anglo-Saxon England. Finnan was a Christian, and with many kings claiming descent from a pagan god, he may have found life difficult, but his actions were instrumental in the development of early Anglo-Saxon history. This is his story. Not much is known about Finnan's early life, apart that he was born in Ireland. In his youth in the early 600s, he would go to the Iona Abbey, just off the Isle of Mull, on the west coast of Scotland. It is one of the oldest Christian centres in Western Europe, and was instrumental in the spread of Christianity around Scotland. Like other Celtic Christian monasteries, the building was made of timber, wood and thatch. The monastery at Iona was founded by Saint Columba in around the year 563, and in the year 800 AD, the original wooden chapel was replaced by a stone chapel. Finnum would have lived during the period of the wooden architecture, living in the monastery of Iona during its early history, and the fact that the chapel was made from wood represents how early it truly was in Anglo-Saxon history. After Finnan's time training in the monastery, he was the first monk sent from Iona to replace Aidan of Lindisfarne, now known to history as Saint Aidan. Aidan was the founder and first bishop of the Lindisfarne island, and is credited with restoring Christianity to Northumbria. The fact that Finnan would be the second man to be the bishop of Lindisfarne means he must have been a very capable and pious man. In the year 651, Finnan would become the Bishop of Lindisfarne. He would follow the policy of his predecessor Aidan. In the year 653, Paeda was made the king of the Middle Angles after the death of his father. Paeda sought to marry Outfled of Bernicea, but she was the daughter of King Oswiu of Northumbria, and he said he could only marry his daughter if Paeda was baptised. Paeda was still a pagan at the time, as was his father before him, and King Oswiu was a devoted Christian, and would work closely with Finnan in trying to convert the still largely pagan 7th century England. King Paeda of the Middle Angles was baptised by Finnan, and this was followed by a campaign to convert Paeda's people. Sigbert II, now known to history as Sigbert the Blessed, was the king of the East Saxons, which can be referred to now as the Kingdom of Essex. Bede the Venerable portrays King Sigbert the Blessed as a pagan. Like King Paeda, he was urged by King Oswiu to convert to Christianity. He and his followers would also be baptised by Finnan, at one of Oswiu's estates near Hadrian's Wall. So Finnan had the honour of introducing Christianity to two great Saxon kingdoms. The Aberdeen Breviary which is a 16th century Scottish Catholic book, which contains the biographies of saints, describes Finnan as a man of venerable life. 
a bishop of great sanctity and an eloquent teacher, remarkable for his training in virtue and his liberal education, surpassing all his equals in every matter of knowledge as well as in circumspection and prudence, but chiefly devoting himself to good works and presenting in his life a most apt example of virtue. In the island sanctuary of Lindus Farm, Finnan would begin the construction of a cathedral. He built it in the Irish fashion, using hewn oak with an outer covering of reeds dedicated to St. Peter. Finnan also founded St. Mary's Priory at the mouth of the River Tyne. He also participated in the founding of Gilling Abbey, established by Queen Eanfled of Northumbria. It is said that Eanfled, the wife of King Oswiu of Northumbria, persuaded her husband to found the abbey, where he had killed a rival king, Oswine of Deria. Eanfled would force her husband to build the monastery in order to atone for Oswine's death since Eanfled was Oswine's cousin. The monastery would promote Oswine as a saint, one of many murdered Anglo-Saxon kings that were considered saints. Finnum would follow the Celtic tradition of Catholicism instead of the Roman Catholic traditions, but with the Celtic lands having fallen to the Saxon invaders, the Celtic culture was disintegrating and the old Christian traditions faced annihilation. Finnan was keen to defend Irish customs, and when Ronan, an Irish missionary, pushed for the introduction of Roman customs at Lindisfarne, Finnan would fly into a rage, and the two men would have a blazing argument. Finnan would die in the year 661, and was buried at Lindisfarne, having held the seat of bishop for ten years. So Finnan embraced two great Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, and he had great influence over the Saxon provinces. The Traparian of St. Finnan describes him as Aidan's successor. Thou didst he rule the Sea of Lindisfarne fearlessly, preaching the Orthodox faith, boldly obeying the Gospel's command. Thou didst soften the stony heart of Mercia's pagan prince Paeda, and win his soul for Christ. Pray for us, O saint. After Finnan's death, he was venerated as a saint, and his feast day is celebrated on the 9th of January. In the show The Last Kingdom, we see Finnan is a Christian, and if you look closely enough, you can see he was wearing a Celtic-style cross around his neck. Could this be a reference to St Finnan the Irishman and Bishop who this fictional warrior is based off? Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all soon for another History Profile.